Well, here it is, the last Saturday of the year. Me and my bride took my cousin to IHOP this morning, got breakfast. It's now 12-12, how about that? And I'm finally getting around to doing something. It's a little cool outside. I think it's about 40. Uh, I'm going to give you a little update on the pasture restoration for 2023. This is uh, the last video I'll put up for pasture restoration. We're in the hay feeding season, and I'm using my little IVC tote hay feeders. The things work like a charm. And I hope you can see, you can see how I'm moving it each time I put hay in it. Uh, right now I still have a small amount of grass. So the goats are still able to get some, some vegetation, some nutrients from the grass that I have. But I'm doing a reseeding project here, project, project. This fescue hay I bought had a lot of seed heads in it. I'm not sure what type of grass this is, but I've seen this same type of seed head in, in my little pasture here. So each time I feed them, I'm getting a seed envelope planted where the feeders are so this is DIY uh, reseeding on a shoestring budget project number one and I'm right here in my main barnyard I still got that pasture back there and I still got that pasture over there and I got to get down there as soon as this hand gets straightened out where I can do something Get back down there and get that ready to be fenced in. But now you watch Greg Judy and uh, Stony Ridge Farmer. They unrolled big round bales of hay for two reasons. Number one, well, really three reasons. Number one, they feed their livestock with it, their cows. Number two, it's doing the same thing I'm doing. It's helping to reseed and maintain a a good uh, base of fresh vegetation each year. And number three, it puts carbon back into the soil. Well, number one, ram bales don't work good with goats unless they're in a, a raised cage where the goats can't get to them because goats love to climb. They'll climb up on top of them. They'll pee on them, poop in them, sleep in them, and then they don't want to eat it. Now, these little things here are just ideal. I mean, ideal. I wish I'd known about this four or five years ago. <clears throat> and uh, I got a, a video and I guess it's Farm Projects playlist about how to do it. It's, it's not hard at all. And you know, you may be able to find these things free or you might have to pay, you know, a little bit for it. But I guarantee you, it'll be cheaper than anything you can buy at Tractor Supply, anything. But this is what I'm doing. I'm just moving it about 10 or 12 foot. Each time I re resupply it with food and I'm just gonna walk my way down towards the barn there. And that dead blame hawk is still sitting up in that tree over. Yeah, he wants one of my pigeons bad. But I ain't gonna let him have it. So anyhow, yeah, that's where we're at with the 2023 pasture restoration project. I'm going to to get me some lime and do a little bit of spot liming back here in this back pasture just to see how it does. You know, I just don't have enough land to justify a big lime truck coming in here and putting out x amount of lime and potassium and stuff like that i just don't have the the volume for that so i'm just going to do a little on site prep here a little trip a little treatment here and there and uh we'll go from there see what happens 
So anyway, I hope uh, this uh, video finds you all well. I hope everybody's really in high gear for 2024. Because folks, unless the good Lord comes back first, it's going to be here in about two days. So get ready. Ready or not, here it comes. So uh, yeah, just a little update on my pastor restoration project for 2023. Hopefully in 2024, I have a little bit more to uh, share with you about uh, putting some some lime and potassium and stuff like that down. See if I can't uh, rejuvenate this place just a little bit better. I mean, the goats are trying their best. <laughs> trying their best. Jeffy Banks, thank you very much.